We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Thanks to GoProvidence.com. Chef Michaela Mercy is here. Sydney PVD is the place, which is, apparently is a really busy place. <laughs> Butternut squash soup is what we're making. Look, you couldn't have planned this any better today, right? The weather. It's the weather. Perfect. This is great. <laughs> yeah. A cool fall day like today. You're looking for some great soup. Absolutely. This is what we're going to need. It's a nice hearty soup. So it's easy to do. Yeah. A lot of great ingredients. Absolutely. A little bacon fat in there, too. You gotta, you gotta change it up some. Change it up so that's good for flavor, <laughs> Exactly. Right? And I just looked at the um, the butternut squash itself in yeah. the in the oven, and man, it looks great. It smells great. All right, so let's go over the ingredients. What we need to do to put this together? All right, we start with we chop up some onion and garlic, throw it in the pot with olive oil, mm -hmm. let that soften a little. We chop up our butternut. Okay. We usually use one big, two big, however much you want to make. Right. And we toss it in our spice blend. We have some a little bit of cayenne for a little kick. Okay. Paprika, cinnamon, garlic powder, onion powder. Sounds good. Salt pepper. Smother it in bacon fat. <laughs> throw it in the oven. <laughs> Let that roast. So basically it was healthy <laughs> up until here. Is that what you're saying? This is good for you, I swear. All right. Okay. <laughs> throw that in the oven. You want to get it soft. If yeah. you like it a little crispier, you can let that. It adds a little crunch to it. Mm -hmm. Um brown sugar on it too. Right. A little sweetness. And then while that's roasting, we throw our vegetable broth in here with it. Let that soften a little more. Sure. When that comes out, throw that in. A little heavy cream. Right. Immersion blend it. You need, you'll, need one, you'll need one of these you'll, to, to go in there and absolutely. just kind of blend away. Yeah, you don't want big chunks. Right. So, and take the care. onion and garlic. Mix how long, it on. How long does the, um, the uh, button squash in there have to, have to kind of like cook? Because it, sometimes it's hard. Yeah, if it's really hard, you might want to blanch it a little, boil it so it softens. Right. But they're in season right now. Sure. So they're usually pretty soft. Okay. We throw it in for like 20, 25 minutes on 350. Right. And it's nice and soft. All right. Sounds Blends good. right up. Sounds good. Then you got to show us how to cut one of these open too. Because I do it at home. I'm always afraid I'm like going to lose a digit while I'm doing it. We'll, we'll have a little lesson on that too as well. Back to you. Now I think I can smell that <laughs> squash. Uh, Michaela, it's fantastic. Let me just send it away. Hey, thanks so much. BrendanGoProvince.com brings us uh, Chef Michaela <laughs> from Sydney PVD, and we are making butternut squash soup. This is one of my favorites, especially this time of year. I hope you like this one, Mom. Oh, well, all right. Here we go. Uh, we got to jump right in. I know you've got some... Yeah, we have the onions and the garlic in mm -hmm. here with some olive oil, salt, pepper. We're letting those soften up a bit. So Great. we're going to show you how to cut the butternut. Okay. Now, normally so, I cut the ends off first, but what is the technique? I, I usually cut the ends off, and then I use the knife or a peeler to peel mm -hmm. those off. Or huh. you can cut it into pieces and do it that way See? if it's easier. It's knife. It's <laughs> I think I need a sharper knife. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You got that. So then and then I, sometimes I turn it like this and cut uh, it down. Yeah, exactly. Is that is that I, That's how I do it. Okay. Well, I mean, makes it, like, it must be in the name. Yeah, and Michaela and Michaela. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give that a chop. There we go. So I also I'll grab a spoon and just... Tossing <laughs> these away? Yeah, and just Whoop. scoop <laughs> just scoop the inside out. Okay. It should come out pretty easily. Yeah, you don't want to be eating that, all the little hairs. Yeah, kind of creepy. Oh, no. Creepy hairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want that in the soup. Yeah, it, it definitely softens more and okay. it's a little fibrous. There we go. Scoop all that out. The kitchen's gonna get dirty while you do this, but that's half the fun of cooking, right? If you don't make a mess, you're not cooking, right? Oh, I like that rule. <laughs> uh, you know what, I'm gonna follow that through it in my house. All right, scrape those out, clean them up. That one just wants to hang on for the fun. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you can't go in there today. So okay. then, to peel it, you can use a peeler or a knife. For now, it might be easier to like cut it in strips, and then we can take the skin right off. Okay. Easier that way. This is, man, I think we have a similar butternut <laughs> squash technique. And plus then it's one less thing to wash, right? Exactly. You just keep going with the knife. Yeah. It's, that's all you need. Makes it so much easier. All right. And then we're going to cut those yeah, off. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. And then we're going to roast them up. Yeah, we're gonna 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 going to cut it into cubes. And Beautiful. we can throw it. We toss it with um, the seasonings and the baking fat and brown sugar Ooh. and throw it right in the oven and okay. roast it up. All yeah. right. And stay tuned for that because this is going to go in the oven and then we'll have it become soup. Yeah.
How will it happen? <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Wrapping things up in the Roadshow Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Sydney PVD is the location. Thanks to GoProvidence.com. Michaela Mercy is here, and we've got butternut squash soup. <sighs> So That's what Megan. It's a great day to make something like this, mm -hmm. and it seemed pretty to go to to go together. Pretty simple. Yeah, it, nothing too complicated. Nothing too complicated. We at have all. our onions, garlic, all set with the vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have Michaela put our okay. roasted butternut in there. And as I do that, can you remind folks of the seasoning that went on this? Because oh, of course, can snack on these alone. We <laughs> they are delicious. We do garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, a little paprika for a little smokiness. Mm -hmm. Right. Cayenne for a little spice. Yeah. Brown sugar, smother it in bacon fat. Ooh, roast cool. it up while it's roasting. You want to make sure you mix it around. Get right. the mm -hmm. bacon fat everywhere. And go. I know you're saying smother it in bacon fat. You really didn't have, have that. It's not. You that didn't much. have that much like when you were putting on it. A tablespoon to two tablespoons, depending on how healthy or unhealthy right. you'd like right, to be. Right. I mean, you could put all of the bacon fat sure. on if right. you'd like. Right, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I'm gonna have you mix it up a little bit, Cheers. and then we'll throw the heavy cream in. Mm -hmm. And the heavy cream is something that you do add last. Usually, we'll let it simmer a little, mm -hmm. the cream right before we blend it. Right. Just right. to give it a little more liquid. There's not much liquid in there. Yeah, there's not much left and, in there. But right. you want a nice, thick, mm -hmm. hearty soup. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. So you, I'll set to throw the cream in. Okay. Then Especially on a chilly day like today, soup it's, is your best friend. <laughs> we make scones, too, that go so Ooh. well with them. Oh, man. Next we, time. Uh, yeah. Next time Next we make scones. Time. Yeah. We can do the scones <laughs> there. They're good. They're and not you said dry. That's your forte, because you're you're a baker. I'm a baker. Yes, okay. I'm not culinary by nature. All right, so we kind of mix that, mix that together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all right, we're gonna immersion blend it. All right, so we'll take one of these, and these aren't even that expensive. You could get, oh, get one of these. Oh no, great. Kitchen aid ones, ones are right. Get one of these pretty like cheap. Like thirty bucks, mm -hmm. maybe. Let's start off on low yeah. on this one here. Kind of like and as he's getting that going, I know you mentioned scones. Yeah. What are some of the other treats that we can find over at um, Our signature dish is our avocado toast. Everyone mm -hmm. loves it. We serve that until the kitchen closes. Um, people can add smoked salmon, poached egg to it. Wow. It's a good meal. Mm -hmm. um, we also do sandwiches, salads, all made in-house. Um, most of our baked goods are made in-house, except for our laminated yeah. doughs and bagels. Um, and the scones that you mentioned that would pair well with this, what flavor are we We have sweet about? and savory scones. They're made from the same batter, though, so oh, they do fun. have sugar in them. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really not too dense, and they're also not dry. Yeah, oh, so but that's with, nice that you can mix and match and oh, pair yeah. either with a salad with, and soup. Absolutely, or, and we have um, a vegan tomato soup we make, too. Mm. That We have a three-cheese scone right now Ooh. that goes well with either. That sounds so good. I think this so is good. pretty... Yeah, it's pretty good. It does. Yeah. If you like it chunkier, you can leave it chunkier. Right. You uh -huh. can make it super smooth. You just want to make sure it's like mostly. Right. Yeah. And of course, you can always add more heavy cream or broth if you're like. Depending this on how you is want it. Too thick. Um, we like to keep it nice and thick. Well, yeah, and you've softened up that butternut squash from being in the oven. Oh, About absolutely. How long did it have that have to bake for? Um. Because it's Again, very hard. Depending when you're on with it. if it's super hard or softer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anywhere from twenty. To 30 minutes. Okay. Just to your, yeah, to your liking. Yes. Um, of course, you always check it if you can easily stick a fork in. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much well, it. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, all right. So, next. Yeah. Show you how to bowl it up. All right, bowl it up. <laughs> Let's bowl it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, depending on how much you want. That looks great. It does look so good. I like that you kind of kept it chunky well. Yeah. And at the cafe, we top it with some goat cheese, some bacon bits, microgreens, a little olive oil. Let's put some of this what? goat cheese on top. It's I never think I okay. I've never topped butternut squash soup with goat cheese, but it's what a great combination. Tangy, it's creamy. Oh, it goes yeah. so great. You have the bacon fat in there. Might mm -hmm. as well put the bacon bits, mm -hmm. microgreens, nice color. You will, and like you're a chef. Some pottery. <laughs> You could have made that bowl, and then well, you just... Yeah, there you go. You could have made the bowl. And then we're going to give it a little taste. Absolutely. This looks good. Awesome. This looks great. A little hot. Okay, good. And you said it has a kick to it, right? A little bit, not too much. Well, I, I'm you want to be careful with the cayenne, though, because mm -hmm. it can That's get real spicy. Powerful. That's delicious. It's like, I'll... 
It a nice the, rainy day oh, like it's going to be today. He's just going to walk away with that one. <laughs> you might want to play another one. <laughs> no, really, Michaela, that's oh. really good. That's Glad delicious. you like it. And you a can plus. find that recipe over at roadshow.com. Mm.